There is no name more associated with real estate development here in Colorado than the full and wider name. Indeed, we can venture to say there would be no Denver International Airport had it not been for the LC Full and Wider family. Spanning over 100 years, the Full and Widers stayed true to their roots while developing some of the most innovative projects the country's ever seen. Lloyd Caleb Full and Wider Sr. left Missouri in 1904, hoping that the dry climate of Colorado would help him overcome his battle with malaria. He started Globe Investment Company in 1904. He was a broker, put farm and ranches together, and you know that's how we came to you know, own the ground that we own out by the airport. In 1907, LC bought one of the first automobiles in Denver. There were no mechanics, so the condition of the purchase was the mechanic, the salesman had to take completely take the car apart and show him how to put it back together. Senior was actually involved in the uh, informing the Denver Real Estate Commission, and Full and Wider actually holds the number one real estate license, and a copy of it sits up there on our wall. In 1930, Globe Investment Company became LC Full and Wider Incorporated. The 40,000 acres he assembled into Box Elder Farms would become the site of Denver International Airport. L.C. passed in 1949, and L.C. Jr. took the helm. In 1959, the company changed Denver real estate with its Park Villa Complex, the first condominiums in the area. In the early 1960s, Full & Wider began building the first condos in Aspen, Vail, and Breckenridge. That evolved into the development of Copper Mountain in the 70s. And when Cal came along and took the reins of the Full & Wider company, he had to adapt the company. And the largest undertaking to date is Pena Station, an exciting mixed-use community with international connections. The real opportunity came with Panasonic. Panasonic was going to make a statement in the United States about a, a living, breathing, sustainable community. And will be a very integral partner with us in creating something North America hasn't seen yet. So the Full and Wider family has been a, a pillar of our community for, for several decades. And Peggy was on the board in the 1950s. In fact, she was the person um, most singularly responsible for creating the lunch cart that came around and gave sandwiches to families and to caregivers at Children's. We got behind it and, and donated money to name the, the terrace off the cafeteria in, in her name and her memory. She also helped create the Amputee Ski School, which evolved into the National Sports Center for the Disabled. Cal was one of the first instructors. We didn't know what we were doing. Somebody came up uh, with an outrigger idea, which is a ski tip um, that's put on the bottom of a pole, and now all of a sudden you can balance yourself on both sides, and it just absolutely took off from there. Cal has continued Full and Wider's support of Children's Hospital by serving on the board during the critical move to the Anschutz Medical Campus. He was really, really excited about, you know, what this new hospital would do for the community and um, also what this entire campus would do for um, propelling research and education and patient care. Cal also serves on the board of CU's Real Estate Center. He loves the next generation, and they'll do anything and fight for that next generation. And they look at the greater good for Denver, for the company, and for their legacy. When you say, who are the great citizens of our community? I could say without a doubt, the Full and Wider family is certainly one of those great citizens of our community throughout history. 